In today's video, we're talking about how to size your electrical box. We're not talking about these type of boxes. We're talking about sizing boxes for electricians, not to be confused with box fill. Box fill has to do with the amount of conductors inside the box. This does relate to that, but we're just talking about how to size an electrical enclosure for splices, pulling, things like that. Now it's important to know this code only applies to conductors number four or larger. So if you are trying to put a couple of three quarters in here and you're wondering what size box can you use and you're asking what about the multipliers of six and eight, they don't apply to conductors unless we're number four or larger. So you can enter on this side of the box with three quarter conduit you can leave this side of the box a three quarter conduit and we don't have a multiplier of eight. 314.28 says, pull and junction boxes and conduit bodies. I'm gonna put the code up here somewhere. Maybe I'll put it over here. Basically what it says is minimum size A. So 314.28 A says that for raceways containing conductors number four or larger that are required to be insulated and for cables containing conductors number four or larger, the minimum dimensions of pull boxes installed in a raceway is gonna be as follows. For straight poles, the length of the box shall not be less than eight times the metric designator or trade size. So what does that mean? If we've got a two inch conduit entering here and we've got a two inch conduit entering here, your multiplier is gonna be eight, which is gonna make this a 16, basically by 16 box, or at least we're gonna have at least 16 inches of length here. And we're gonna talk about it here in a second. For U-pulls, where splices, for splices where angle or U-pulls are made, the distance between each raceway entry inside the box or conduit body and the opposite wall of the box shall not be less than six times. We're gonna keep this really simple because this is something that I see really commonly. We're not talking about stacking the conduits. We're just talking about a basic sizing of a box and how to fix when you run into issues. Maybe the electrical inspector shows up and you've got a gutter above your panel boards and you ran a two inch right into the gutter. The gutter was only six inches tall. Obviously that's a violation. So this is something really common that I see that is wrong. Someone will have their panel here. We'll have two panels here. They will run a gutter here. Let's say this is a two inch. This is for their feeder. Two inch here, they nipple over, maybe for a sub panel or something. They got a couple of one inches here and we have a couple of one inches here. This is a violation, believe it or not. Let's say this is a six inch gutter, tall, and however long it is, that's not relevant right now. We're gonna talk about it in a second. Basically this straight pull here where we have this pipe entering the top of the gutter and this two inch in the bottom, the multiplier must be eight. So this would have to be a 16 inch tall gutter. How do we fix this? One of the easiest fixes you can do here is to put the end cap right here on the gutter. Cut all this out, all that goes away and you just run it a straight pipe. And then your end cap finishes here and, and you're good to go basically. Maybe you had a bunch of MC cable coming to the top of this gutter, or maybe you had pipes, whatever you had. Your feeder conduit doesn't apply to the box sizing regulations here because we didn't put it in a box. Another really easy way to fix this is a conduit body. Your multiplier is no longer eight, it turns into six. So you can run an LB, an LR, an LL, whatever applies to your situation. LB is where the back of the box is open, the back of the conduit body. LR is the right side, LL is the left side. Pretty simple. So what we can do is we can offset over. So if our pipe started off over here, we can offset over and then we can set our LB. And now we can get our feeder into the side of the panel 
Maybe we got to cut a little bit of junction box. Maybe we don't. Maybe we can offset it up high enough. That's another solution. So I'm already giving you solutions before I even told you how or even what the problem is. So we're trying to pack this video with really helpful information. Let me know if this has been helpful so far. Put in the comments below. I'm going to show you how to size a box now and how everybody messes it up. Basically, if our angle pull or U pull is the multiplier of six and our straight pulls are a multiplier of eight, if we have a box and we are entering with two inch conduit here and we're coming out of the top of it with two inch conduit here, our multiplier, because we're going off the largest one, even if we had an a inch and a half condo, we still got to go off of the largest trade here. So multiplier is still eight. Largest pipe is two. This is going to make this a 16 by 16 box, but we're not done there. This is where everybody messes this up. It also says here the distance between raceway entries and closing the same conductor shall not be less than six times. What does that mean? This is where everybody gets in trouble. Our multiplier is six. We have two inch conduit. Did I say 18? So if we're coming to the side of this box with two inch conduit and we're coming out of the top with two inch conduit, our box needs to be at least 12 by 12. 12 by 12 box, we'll, we'll get this going. But this is where everybody messes up. If you get a 12 by 12 box, that's gonna be 12 inches from here and 12 inches to there. We have to make sure our conduit is also 12 inches apart. So we're gonna measure this as the crow flies. And if we go from here to here, this has to be 12. So if you get a 12 by 12 box, physically impossible. Even if we ran our conduit down here at the very bottom here, and we came out here, which is really impractical, you would have to make sure that your 12 inches. Now, if we do Pythagorean, we do A plus B equals C squared. Uh, you might wind up with a 12 inch here. But a really common mistake is that people come into the middle of the box and they come in the middle of the box and you're just not going to make your conduit entry spacing because it also has to follow the same rules. Multiplier is six. In this case, we got to be 12 inches away. In this case, we got some three inches. Multiplier is eight because we're going to go for a straight pull. This box would need to be at least 24 inches wide. Three times eight, 24. Pretty simple, 24. That's for a straight pull. What happens if we're coming out of the top of this and we need to enter closer to the middle of this box and this is already at the middle. Three inch came out of the top of the box or the bottom, doesn't matter. The multiplier is six. 18 by 18 box is not going to cut it here. We have to make sure that these conduits are a minimum of 18 inches away from each entry. So what really makes sense here is if this box was more like a 24. So basically you're gonna be burning six inches here this is going to be a 24 inch box. And that's something that might work. Once you're sizing your boxes, you're looking at your conduit size and you're looking at it on paper and you're saying, oh, my conduit size is only four inch. And if I enter this box here with four inch conduit and I come out here, I only need a 24 inch box being four times six is 24. But Remember, if you're going to enter the middle of the box 
which you probably are. And you're going to leave the middle of the box, which your installer, you're the project manager. You might know all this in your head in code. The installer needs to know that they need to be at least 24 inches from entry to entry. You might want to get a 36 inch box. The proper size for this box would be closer to a 30 to a 36 inch box. So again, if this is four and this is four, four times six, 24 inches. Even if we entered on the very edge here and we entered on the very edge here, we need to make sure we are at least 24 inches away, which might be possible. But remember, just because you sized the box and you ordered it, which made sense in your head, the installers might not know exactly what the code is and they might enter wherever they can. There might have been some kind of obstruction in their way. It might have been easier just to mount it. They could have knocked it out downstairs before they got in the lift and mounted the box. And now we're only 22 inches away. You just failed your inspection. And worse, the wire's already pulled in it. It's things like this that make or break a job. This is the difference of you getting a bonus at the end of the year or at the end of the job, or maybe going to the next job site, leaving that one early and getting pushed off to the next crew, or it might be the difference in keeping your job. Hope this helps you guys. Let me know what you guys see in the comments below. We'll see you on the next one.